During this program, you will meet some of the bravest combat aviators who've ever flown. The Army helicopter pilots of Vietnam, Indiana farm boys, urban tough guys, from the boy next door to the sons of immigrants, soft-spoken southerners, brisk Yankees, all volunteered to fly helicopters in a burgeoning jungle war on the other side of the world. The war had started before many of these pilots were born. When Vietnam was restored to French colonial rule at the end of World War II, those Vietnamese who had fought the Japanese invaders then fought the French, finally driving them out of the country after the fall of Dien Bien Phu in 1954. The country was then partitioned into North and South Vietnam. The helicopter war started in 1961 when two U.S. Army helicopter units equipped with Vertol H-21s arrived to airlift South Vietnamese soldiers into battles against the insurgent Viet Cong. In 1962, the brand new turbine-powered Bell HU-1, immediately nicknamed the Huey, was used for gunship support of the H-21 operations. Used in World War II and Korea to save lives, helicopters had never before been used in direct combat. Army pilots soon learned that their thin-skinned and underpowered helicopters were very vulnerable to enemy fire. In 1962, seven helicopters and five aviators were lost to enemy fire in one day at Op Bok. This led to the development of new air mobility tactics and improvements in aircraft. The dramatic buildup in American forces began in 1965, when the first completely air mobile combat division the 1st Air Cavalry, was sent to Anke. This 15,000-man unit brought with it more than 400 helicopters and 10,000 combat troopers. The war was now an American war, and into the breach of battle began flowing thousands of brand new Army aviators, volunteers from all across America, and they would keep coming for nearly 10 more years. This then is the first-hand account of the men who lived, breathed, and died in Vietnam as Army helicopter pilots.